Okay, class, on page 126 of your AutoCAD book, chapter 1, uh, we are going to go through how to do the guide plate. This is going to come in two steps. We're going to do the outline, and then the next video will show how to do the circles. First thing I'm going to do is start a new drawing. Uh, make sure I have a menu bar. You notice I don't have a menu bar, so I'm going to go to the Quick Access Toolbar. I'm going to select Show Menu Bar. I have that there, and then I am going to go Save As. And Save As, I am going to draw this as uh, the guide plate first and last name. I save it before I even start drawing. All right, then read through this, and it says here to select line, and we're going to use the direct entry method. So I'm going to select line, and I'm going to use the, you see down here it says select first point. I'm going to use the direct entry method 0, comma 0, which is the origin, right? So when I scroll, you'll see that the green and the red line there meet at the origin and the first line started at origin. I come back over here, you click, you scroll, then you come back here and you click. Right, and then you it says you want to create a horizontal line. And so it says the next point will be 5.5, .5, comma, zero, enter. So the, in other words, 5.5, .5, the X, we're just going to go horizontally to the right. 5.5, so 5.5, comma, zero, not up or down, hit enter, and you notice that we've created our horizontal line. This, by the way, will not work if you stop the line program. This, you'll have to start over the whole drawing. So, um, next step, it says in the menu bar, go to view, pan, real time. Uh, so remember, the top one is in menu bar. View, pan, real time. It's going to change it to the hand. So now we've. It looks like we've stopped the drawing. I I notice there's no line anymore, and I can move this around as I click. But when you hit escape, it will go back to the the last place you want. So this time, we're going to create a vertical line. We are going to um, do the at symbol first. Notice this is at, and which means now this is the new origin. Um, it's going to do 0, comma, 2.5. Enter. So, now this next step is going to require you to use the coordinates. And so when you come down here to snap mode and you turn it on, you'll notice it's kind of jerky. It's not, and if you were to scroll in, you'll notice that the mouse jumps between those little squares between and the big squares. So it has made it, so it snaps to a grid. Then you want to make sure that this coordinate is not at an angle slash number. You want it at, so what you do is you right button click, or left button click, and until you see your X, Y, Z coordinate. All right, then it says you need to go to 8, comma 2.5. So if you look as this number changes, you want to go to 8 and 2.5, which will make a horizontal line. You click. Come down here. Now we're going to um, use the angle method. So we want to line 3 inches at 90 degrees. Now if you remember, 90 degrees is starts at, if you start at 3 o'clock and you go around counterclockwise, it increases until it gets back to 360. So for 90 degrees means straight up. 
So we do at, which means make this the origin, three inches. We do the less than symbol, and then say 90. And it should draw a line straight up and down. Okay. Now, this is pretty nice when, remember when we said angles could be dimensioned either the coordinate method or the angular method. This way it's going to be the coordinate method. And so what it wants is you to draw a line between the last point and then 1.5 to the left and 1 up. So remember when you're going this way on a number line, it's a negative number, right? So if you look here, it says at negative 1.5 and then comma 1. So at negative 1.5 comma 1. Hit enter. You have that little angle there. All right, the next one is the direct distance. This is like the ruler, right? And so now it just wants me to create a horizontal line uh, to the left. So all you do is start moving your mouse in that direction and you type in the distance, which over here you see is 6.5. So I just put the line straight. I type in 6.5. I hit enter and it draws that line. Next thing you know, you're almost done with this thing. All you need to do is close it up. And it says, for the last segment, you're going to close. So you're going to right mouse click, which is the opposite of the normal mouse, right? You right mouse click, you go to close, hit enter, and you've created your shape. Now, if at any point you had stopped, you'd have to start this drawing over or close won't work. For example, if I click here and I hit escape and then I click here and then right button close it will not go to here but it'll go to here right? so because we started over all right so you have that part of the shape i would save it at this point you've already named it the guide plate, first and last name. And so this ends the outline. Next, we'll create circles in the next video.